Hey, welcome back to Homegrown Country Homestead. How y'all doing? Well, today I'm in my shop and I've got another project I'm going to be working on. About 15 years ago, I bought an ATV disc for my four-wheeler, and I've used that disc ever since then to disc my garden up. But when I got my tractor, I just started using it to pull behind my tractor. It done a real good job, but the problem is when I go down through the center and try to make my turn, it mounds up the dirt where I'm making my turns every time. And I actually need a disc where I can pick it up and set it back down. Well, about two years ago, I decided, well, I'm going to go ahead and try to modify my disc. The only thing I had was a 110 welder. Well, that didn't work out too well. I went ahead and did my modifications, hooked up to my tractor, started disking, and it broke. Let me show you what the 110 welds look like. This is the pin right here that broke off and you can see the welds right there just real spotty. The 110 welder would not uh, get the metal hot enough to actually melt into it and you can see right here where it broke off. Today I've started already grinding on these welds on this pin here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back and re-weld these uh, welds with uh, a 220 welder. I took a cutoff wheel right here and cut my metal on both sides right here and I just folded that metal back. That allowed room for my arms for my tractor to come in and hook in here on this pin. Well, we could go out and we could go buy a $500 disc, but that's not what we're going to do. On our homestead here, you know, we try to save as much money as we can and anything we can modify or make work without having to go spend that extra money, you know, that's what we're going to do. This disc has worked good all these years. It's a great disc. It just needs to be modified for a three-point setup. So y'all stay with me, and I'll show you how I'm going to take care of this. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and start grinding on this weld here and get it uh, prepared. And also on this side here, we're going to go ahead and finish doing some uh, prep work on all of this. So I can get it uh, welded with my 220 welder. All right, well, I got my welds on this side ground down and I got my other side prepped and uh, so I'm ready to go ahead and get my welding started. You know, I'm not an expert welder, but I'm gonna try to do the best I can, make sure this job done right this time. All right, well, I got this side over here welded. Let's take a look at it. Like I say, it's not perfect, but it looks a whole lot better than it did. And this side here, I've already got the weld grounded off and everything. So I'm fixing to get ready to uh, weld this side. Hey, welcome back. Well, finally got everything uh, welded here and got the braces put on. And uh, I went ahead and got it painted there. That's what it looks like. I went ahead and did a double brace on it and just kind of spot welded down through there. So I believe that should hold real good there. So I'm fixing to go and get my tractor and uh, 
hook it up and let's see how it does. I'll be right back. I got everything hooked up here, so I'll fix it, give it a try. Let's see what happens. Well. Well, that's not going to work. Uh, we're going to have to go back and uh, do something different now. <laughs> that just goes to show you sometimes when you think something's going to work out, it don't necessarily always work out. But there's something to be learned with this. Uh, don't ever give up. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, go ahead and uh, shut the shop down for the night. Uh, it's done to getting a little late here. So... I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to sleep on it. I'm going to get a fresh start in the morning. And I'm going to see if I can get this taken care of. All right. We'll see y'all later. Hey, welcome back. Well, as you can see, I've been working on my disc this morning and I uh, made a few modifications. You know, I gave it some thought and I was working with a uh, design that I was used earlier, which was a poor design. I was trying to build off of it. So I kind of uh, redid it and I believe it's going to work this time. Let me show you what it looks like. I made a, a taller brace right here and then I came back in here Put this brace in right here and uh, I went ahead and welded another piece right here on top of this just kind of strengthened it all out and redid it right here got uh, two nuts on the front of it where the arm hooks right there so uh, let's give it a try here let's see what happens Well, that's what I wanted right there. Seems like it's going to do good right there. All right. Well, what can we learn from this? You know, I tell you, you know, sometimes our failures, you know, can be our success. So, you know, just don't ever give up. Uh, sometimes it may be discouraging, but uh, just keep at it. Whatever you're doing, you know, life is like that. Sometimes, you know, uh, they, you know, life throws a curveball at us. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I uh, hope it's been inspiration to you. Maybe you learned something from it. And as always, from my family to yours, y'all have a blessed day.